Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. How are you? Um, I am here. Today's operative word of the day is conceal. Monday morning. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'm dogging it. We had a very busy weekend. So I woke up this morning and I'm like, oh my God, like I'm so tired, like in my under eyes. So today's video is going to be how I get my under eyes prepped, moisturized, hydrated and ready for the day. So today is going to be strictly just like a face video, um, just showing you how I kind of get myself ready, like on days where I'm really, 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 really sleepy. Like I am so sleepy today. Good morning, Dee. Hi, Kimmy. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. So I know I have no makeup on, right? Uh, we're all human. So I, like I said, I don't know what's going on. Maybe someone out there can relate to this. I've had the craziest dreams I've had the craziest dreams like the past two nights and I have not gotten good sleep. So I have just been like, I don't know what's going on. Um, so what we're going to do first is, um, besides coffee to help us, um, I'm going to show you how I get myself ready to look alive. So I'm going to go in with a moisturizer today. I have two, I've asked two Estee Lauders. Um, this is like an advanced eye cream, like a night repair cream, but guess what? I love using night creams under my eyes in the morning because they hydrate my eyes. I have very dry under eyes and it gives me a really, really nice surface uh, for my concealer to lay on. So I'm all for using like, what is this? Advanced night repair. Yes. Thank you. Advanced night repair. I would love some right now. Thank you so much. So uh, again, I had the, you guys, my dreams are crazy and they, they're they so vivid that I'm in them up in the middle of the night thinking they're real and then it's hard for me to go back to sleep and I don't know, it's just crazy, right? So today, obviously me and Kimmy Cam is over here. We're just hanging out. This was my rose water. It hydrates, it tones, takes away my redness and it shrinks my pores. I cannot live without rose water spray. So anyways, Cammie and I are sitting here hanging out. He slept 12 hours. He's fine. You hear the garage door? Did daddy just leave for work? I know, it's crazy. So we're just hanging out. So did you guys have a good weekend? Mine was so, so busy. Baby showers, wedding makeup. We went to the winery. It was a lot of fun. Right now I am using my Glorious Touch Primer. This is going to prep my skin. The purpose of a primer, especially this primer, it creates a barrier between your skin and your actual face makeup. So this is gonna kind of protect your skin in a way where the, your skin's not gonna absorb the makeup so quickly. And it's going to keep your skin looking really smooth and really hydrated and it smooths out your, like my, my face now compared to two minutes ago feels like, like butter. It feels so smooth. So, oh, let's get some makeup on. I'm so tired. You guys, I wish I could have some Starbucks right now. Someone could deliver me some Starbucks. Okay, so two things. I self-tanned because I had a lot going on this weekend. I did self-tan. I have to mix. My um, Mineral Touch Foundation is too light for me, so I mix it with my Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, I've always, sometimes, typically have to kind of custom match. Not typically, but when I spray tan, I typically have to custom match my foundation because I am darker than normal. So I'm going to put a little bit of my Estee Lauder Double Wear on the back of my hand. And I'm going to then put some drops of my um, Unique Foundation. And I'm going to mix this little cocktail on the back of my hand and just apply this to my skin. So let's get this blended. Now I'm using my Eco Tool sponge. This is a damp beauty sponge. And this is how I really blend out my makeup seamlessly. The damp beauty sponge just is like a another level of moisturizer. And it really helps to blend everything out evenly. Um, and I have been loving this for, gosh, I mean, you guys, if you watch my videos, you know I've been loving this for a while now, but at least a couple months. So I'm going to apply this all over to bring myself back to life. Little bit of help today. Okay. I used to, um, when I was on maternity leave, 
like not sleeping at all. <laughs> um, I would honestly wake up and I would put on like two full coverage. This is before I even like knew what Unique was. I was wearing Tarte Shape Tape and MAC Pro Longwear Concealer just to like look alive. I was like doubling up. Those days are, you know, those days are, you know, in the past, but still, I don't care how old your child is, they still go through sleep regressions. Okay. You guys see how much better I look? No, this is the best part. Conceal. We're going to conceal my under eyes. Now, I did put up a video, you guys, of color correcting. It's from, I want to say about a week or two ago. If you go to my page and go through my videos, um, you will see one, how to color correct. So if you are someone out there who uh, like battles like dark under eye circles or uh, like that purplish, dark, you know, area, um, check out that video. It's got a lot of really good tips to color correct and then to conceal. All right, speaking of concealer, we are going to use two of them today. Only because I am self-tanned, I'm using Velour, which is actually this, the color of my foundation, and I'm going to mix it with Scarlet. So these are the Mineral Touch Concealers. These are so good. Ha, huh, Cam, or not my con- Oh, Sunny's watching me. These people are these nuts. Okay, so let's put some Velour, and I'm going to mix this with Scarlet. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be really honest with you guys, I'm using a good amount today. There, I, there is no shame in my game. I'm using a lot of concealer. So I'm going in, and I'm going to apply this right underneath my tired eyes. I like to apply some right here on my chin. And I like to apply whatever is left to my lids. And I'm going to go in with Velour and add a little bit more to my T-zone. This is how um, I like to brighten my face up a little bit, put this in my T-zone, and we'll get this blended out. Yeah, so again, no shame in my game. I'm, I'm like 100% honest when I say I'm dogging it today. I even have sleepy voice. Like, so me and my sisters always laugh, but like sometimes when I wake up and like I don't get a lot of sleep, I have like sleepy voice. And it's like, you would think I was out all night, you know, on the town, and I was not. And I'm just like tired. So what I'm doing with my damp beauty sponge is tapping this product into my under eye area, working this in. I'm looking up and I'm blending it towards my nose in this kind of motion. You guys see the difference? She's back. No, I'm just joking. You guys, please, I'm just kidding. But do you see the difference with a little bit of concealer? Now, not just, I use a lot, but concealer is your best friend. It is. It honestly is. So, I know. You could say it, Annie. Whoa, you needed that. I know. You could say it to me. I totally agree. I'm going to blend this down my neck. Make sure this is all blended. And then I'm going to set, I'm just, maybe I'll just do my face today on camera with you guys. Hold on, I have some concealer in my bangs. Story of my life. Okay, let me just blend that out because it'll bother me. All right, girls. Now, let's set this. So I always set my under eyes first because I crease pretty quickly. I have some fine lines. Okay, a little bit of fine lines. And I own it. I know I have them. Um, so I'm going to set this with a little bit of the Behold Translucent Setting Powder from Unique. I'm going to look all the way up to the sky. And I'm going to apply this right in my under eye area to brighten. So the, the best part is not only concealing, but... I want to keep this bright-eyed look all day. So the best way to do that is to take a translucent powder or any powder and you want to set it because this is another problem women always ask me too when I'm working with like on the weekends and stuff. You want to have a dry under eye. What do you mean by that? Well, what I mean is 
Are you one of those girls out there, raise your hand if maybe you um, put your concealer on and that's okay, you go about your day and you have your mascara on and then by 10 o'clock in the morning you notice you have a transfer from your mascara or eyeliner to your under eye area? That is because when you have a tacky under eye surface, like when you leave this area tacky, you're gonna get a transfer. When you have a dry area like this, like an area that was concealed and we set it with powder, you are not going to get that transfer. So that is like a major tip. So if you are someone out there who like every day feels defeated and you're like, oh my God, it's my eyeliner, it's this, it's that, no. It is because you don't set your concealer. Set your concealer with a powder and you will not get that transfer. Another tip, write it down girls, get some powder. All right, I'm gonna set the rest of my face with powder. I'll just finish my face routine on here and then I'll go ahead and like finish over the rest of my makeup off camera. I'll post a photo of how everything turns out. So you guys can see. So I'm right now I'm using the pressed powder foundation in Poplin. And I set the rest of my face with this powder. I like, um, I like to layer and set my creams with powders. And this is a full coverage powder. So it's like a level of coverage. So to kind of like summarize that, you have your primer, you have your liquid foundation, which is like full coverage, and then you're setting it with the full coverage powder. So you're like beating the odds. Do you see how like you just kind of like prepped yourself for whatever is to come today? Everything is full coverage, but when you use powders, it feels like you're not wearing anything so you can breathe through it. So it's like the beauty of being like someone who uses powder on their face. It feels like I have no makeup on. All right, <clears throat> let's bronze. So we were able to conceal, we were able to brighten and we set with powder. But now we have to bring some life back to our face. So I'm going to use my Beachfront Bronzer in Hermosa. This is a unique product obsessed with this bronzer just going into my contour zones and I'm just carving out my cheekbones I do not have to find cheekbones so I have to carve mine out hi Cam what are you doing boo boo hi you see how that bronzer just blends out so nicely it just gives me like the I love it I, I honestly like love this it's like the perfect in between between a warm and a cool bronzer too warm will leave you looking orange too cool can leave you looking like you've got mud on your cheeks so I always like a well-balanced a well-balanced bronzer who am I I like a balanced bronzer that has both cool and warm tones Okay, so I'm gonna carve out my jawline. Again, I self tan so I wanna make sure I match my neck and my chest area. And then what I do is I'm gonna go in with, um, this is a Jaclyn Hill brush, this is a JH05, and I'm just going to carve out this area. Doesn't it like, oh, thank you. Bronzer on a Monday morning. What else do we need besides coffee and concealer? All right, I'm gonna take this brush, I'm just gonna pinch it. I'm gonna just contour my nose, just draw a couple lines down the center of, not the center, the sides of, the sides of my nose, but pretty close together. Kind of like making the number 11, like so. Blend this out. Remember what I taught you, don't leave this like that. You have to blend it out, soften it up. I'm gonna soften this area up. All right, so we're going to just highlight and blush and then that's it. Just so you guys get an idea, you know, Monday. Everyone's exhausted. 
People put so much into two days on the weekend. You need like a third day to recover. So let's do some highlight. So today I'm just going to use um, my Touch Ella Mode powder highlight and iridescent. I'm just going to apply this right on my cheeks, my cheekbones right here. I like to bring this down to this area. Kind of lightens up my the apples of my cheeks. So when I put blush on it, it's really pretty. Like when I have this on first, then I'll layer my blush on top of it. It looks really pretty. So it's like my trick for that. You see how pretty that highlighter is? Down the bridge of my nose, top of my lip. Yeah, so we don't, you don't need a lot, just a little bit. And then add some blush and that's it. So if you guys have any questions about concealer or you have questions about color matching, I get a lot of messages about color matching um, and I can totally help you. Send me a selfie in natural lighting, uh, preferably with no makeup on, and I can totally help color match you to get you um, the right shade for whatever you're looking for. So blush. This is sweet. Okay. Woohoo! Now I know my eyebrows aren't done yet, but what a difference from about 15 minutes ago till now. Okay? So again, sleepy eyes. I have some tips. Check out my video on color correcting if you battle like under eye circles, bags, etc., puffiness. Um, you want to moisturize. Your concealer will only look as pretty on you. Um, dependent on the routine you use underneath your makeup. So get yourself a really good eye moisturizer. Then prep your skin. Moisturize, use a primer. That way your makeup will glide on like a dream. And concealer, you want to... And what I do too, another trick I like is I actually use a... Um, like I'm in the shade Velour, which is like a darker shade, but I actually use Scarlet underneath my eyes. It's like actually the lightest color range that we have for Unique. So, but I like that bright eye look. Um, so that's another trick too. Like if you want like a really bright eyed look, take your concealer a couple shades lighter. That'll really make your eyes look really nice and open. And my last trick is to set it. Set your concealer. You don't want this to be tacky. Um, and if you maybe out there can raise your hand, because I've been guilty of this too. Like when I was in high school and college and I had no idea how to like do my makeup really, um, I would get that transfer and I'm like, what is going on? Why is it my mascara? Like, why is my mascara transferring? And I never knew. It is because you need to set this surface so it is not tacky, it is dry. Okay, those are my tips. Hashtag conceal. If you are catching this on the replay, go ahead and in the comments list out hashtag replay. I hope you guys have a great week. Um, again, if you have any questions with color matching, let me know. But thanks for hanging out with me and I'll be back on here soon. Bye guys.